If you're looking for some DIY math activities for preschool and kindergarten, then don't leave this video. Today I'm sharing 10 fun and easy math activities and games for preschool and kindergarten that you can do right at home. These activities will help strengthen your child's math skills while they have fun in the process. So if you wanna see what they are and grab some cool freebies, then stick around. Welcome to the Innovative Mama. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I am a former preschool and kindergarten teacher with over 12 years of classroom experience. On my channel, you'll find helpful videos for navigating the world of early motherhood, including fun and educational activities that you can do at home with your little ones. If you're not already a part of our YouTube family, then make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and the notification bell before you go so that you never miss out on any of the fun. Now let's check out our 10 preschool and kindergarten math activities. Make sure you stick around for the whole video because I have some tips that I'll be sharing throughout as well as some freebies that you can grab afterwards. I tried to keep these activities as simple and fun as possible while utilizing objects that you can mostly find around your home. With that being said, our first activity is a numbered cookie flip. This activity is a great way to strengthen your child's number recognition skills. All you'll need is a spatula, a cookie sheet, and some cookie cutouts. You can either choose to make your own or I have these cookie printables available as a freebie for you to download from my early childhood resource library. So I will leave a link below in the description box so you can go ahead and grab that after the video. After prepping your numbered cookies, arrange a few face down on a cookie sheet and have your child use a spatula to flip a cookie and read the number on it. If they get the number correct, you can have them remove the cookie from the sheet and keep it. If they don't say the correct number, have them flip it back over and then try again later on during the activity. If your child needs more of a challenge, you can put on a timer and see how fast they can flip and name all of the numbers correctly. I've included numbers one through 20 in my freebie, but feel free to make additional cookies with other numbers if you need to. Sorting is a very important beginning math skill for young children. Sorting activities help children to see similarities and differences among objects. A great beginning sorting activity to have your child try is a color sort. You can download this free color sorting activity from my early childhood resource library as well. If using this printable, you can have your child sort the cards by color. You can also use the colored sorting mats or just pieces of colored construction paper to have your child sort different objects such as toys or Legos by color. Once your child is proficient at sorting colors, you can move on to other sorting activities like sorting by size or any other attribute that you'd like. I love scavenger hunts. I think they are a great way to incorporate learning with some movement. This shape hunt will have your little ones up and moving around as they work on recognizing shapes. All you need is a paper or plastic bag and either some index cards or some objects that all have the same shape. Choose one shape to start with and draw it on your child's back. Either draw the same shape on multiple index cards or gather some objects of the same shape. Next, hide the index cards or objects, or you can do a mixture of the two, around your home before handing your child the bag. Tell them what shape they're going to go looking for and send them hunting. Graphing is an important tool in the world of math. Not only can graphing help young children sort, classify, count, and represent objects, but it can also help them learn to analyze and compare data. A really simple way to introduce the concept of graphing is by using duplos or blocks. Have your child sort and stack some duplos or blocks by color. In this example, I'm doing it on a whiteboard, but you can also have your child do this on paper. When your child is done, have them count each group and write the number underneath each pile. If they aren't able to write the numeral on their own yet, that's okay. You can have them tell you the number while you write it for them, or you can dot out the number for them to trace. Try and help your child compare and describe the towers and incorporate vocabulary words like more, less, taller, shorter, greater, or less than. One-to-one -one correspondence is an early math skill that involves the act of counting each object in a set once and only once with one touch per object. This is very different from just counting out loud and in order 
which is also known as rote counting. One-to-one -one correspondence actually involves touching an object as it's counted. This can be a very complex skill for young learners, so it's important to offer multiple opportunities to practice one-to-one -one correspondence. A great simple way to do this is to use these number counting cards, which I created and that you can grab for free in my early childhood resource library. Simply gather your child some small objects to count. I love these colored counting bears. I will link them down in the description box below if you're interested in them but any small toy or math manipulative will work. Have your child place one object at a time on the circles as they count out loud. Make sure they're only saying one number per object. If they need help, gently guide them by modeling how to do this activity first. If you're finding these activities helpful, then please give that thumbs up button a quick click and let us know in the comments which activity you're most excited to try. Our next activity is going to help with number recognition and matching written numerals to a set of given objects. All you need are some popsicle sticks, a marker, some clothespins, and some dot stickers. You can choose from a few different variations of this activity depending on your child's readiness level and the skill that you're trying to work on. The first variation is to match numeral to numeral. Simply write one number on each popsicle stick then the same numbers on clothespins to match. Have your child match the numbers to their partner. For the next variation, you're going to place some dot stickers on the popsicle sticks, then write matching numerals on the clothespins. Have your child clip the numerals to the correct set of dots. Our last variation of this activity involves filling in the missing numbers. First, you're going to write a set of numerals on the popsicle sticks, leaving out one or two numbers in the set. Then you're gonna have your child find the missing numerals on the clothespins and clip them to the correct spot. For this activity, you'll need some index cards, a marker, and some dot stickers. Write one number on each index card, have your child pick a card, then apply the matching amount of stickers to the card. Super simple, but this is great for practicing number recognition as well as counting and matching numbers to a set of objects. You can also keep these cards as a way for your child to practice one-to-one -one correspondence by touching and counting the dot stickers. There are two different variations to our next activity. We have some muffin tin counting or a muffin tin toss. For our muffin tin counting, you'll need a muffin tin, some cupcake wrappers or just paper for the bottom if you don't have any cupcake wrappers, some small pom-poms and a pair of large plastic tweezers. Choose some numbers that your child is familiar with and write them on the cupcake wrappers or pieces of paper, one number per wrapper. Mix up the numbers and have your child use large tweezers to place the correct number of pom-poms in each slot. Not only is this great for your child's number recognition, but it also helps strengthen fine motor skills at the same time. You're going to set up the muffin tin toss activity the same way that you did the last activity. Then you're gonna have your child toss a large pom-pom or a ping pong ball into a slot. When they land it in a slot, have them read the number that they hit. If they read the number correctly, have them remove the cupcake wrapper from the tin. If they don't, have them leave it in there and try again the next time they hit it. Continue until all the numbers are removed from the tray. This is a great activity for hand-eye coordination and even some gross motor movement, depending on how far your child stands from the muffin tin. Our next activity is pretty simple and involves using stack cubes or some sort of stacking blocks like Legos or Duplos. This activity is all about practicing addition. Addition can be a really hard concept for little ones to grasp when it's first introduced. I love hands-on activities in math, but especially for understanding addition because it gives your child a visual representation. This stacking activity will help your child practice early addition and counting skills in a fun and interactive way. You're going to choose two colors of cubes or blocks and give your child two small numbers, one for each color, to have them count out that many cubes for each. Once they do that, have them stack the cubes on top of one another and count how many there are all together. You'll want to emphasize the term all together as this is used to describe the sum or answer in an addition problem. If your child has been introduced to writing addition sentences, you can help them write one to match their colored blocks. For our next activity, we'll be practicing recognizing numbers in different forms, such as in a group or set, 
a written numeral, or tally marks. I took a large piece of construction paper and wrote numbers in the different forms that I just talked about. I also added some addition sentence equivalents on there as well, but feel free to leave these out if your child isn't working with addition yet. I then took some post-its and wrote numerals on them to match the boxes on the paper. Hang the paper up on the wall and have your child match the post-its to the correct boxes. This is a great quick exercise for your child to practice number recognition, number sense, and fluency, which is the ability to recall mathematical facts and concepts without thinking about them. You can also quickly check your child's work by just looking under the post-its. Don't forget to go ahead and grab all of your freebies from my early childhood resource library. I have tons of other free goodies in there as well. You can find the link for that in the description box below. If you found these DIY math activities for preschoolers and kindergartners helpful, then please don't forget to click that thumbs up button and let us know in the comments which activity was your favorite. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so that you don't miss out on any fun and educational activities for little ones. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.